into God. <clears throat> In 1,000 feet. National Law Enforcement Memorial. The wicked with no man's pursuits, but the righteous upon is a lion. United States Capitol Building, home of Congress. The Capitol Building has been here for quite a long time. It was originally completed in the year 1800, the same year that the city first opened for the public. Being as old as it is, it's changed quite a bit physically over the years. For example, as we go on by it, you might notice that on either side of the main central dome, there are these two slightly smaller mini domes which marked the roofs of the original chambers of Congress. The building ended abruptly on either side of those back in the day, so the whole thing used to be a lot smaller than it currently is. Also back then, we used to not have that large capital. The capital's first dome is the most yeah, second area. Oh, yes, there is. The next area that we are going to be coming up to is the campus of the National Day, the equivalent of about $1.1 billion. Hey. And Smithson also stipulated that he wanted us to use the money for some sort of public research institution. And so when Smithson kicked the bucket and we got all his money, Congress used that money to start the institution that we today have named after the man known no. as the Smithsonian. No. The castle, the first part of this new Smithsonian, they've got one of the old electric trams that used to run in Washington, D.C. They've got the dome of the dining hall of one of the ocean liners that used to bring people between the United States and Europe in the early 20th century. they got a lot of random stuff in here, and it is horribly organized. There is no rhyme or reason to uh, exhibits. They've got one of Ledbetter's old folk guitars, one of Whitney Houston's concert dresses, one of the giant spaceship props used by George Clinton. It's another building that does not need too much introduction from me. This is, of course, the Washington Monument. Now, despite the relative fame of this building and the relative fame of the man it's named after, <laughs> what do you think of it? Look up. Hard time building this thing. <laughs> they started designing the fact that Sister. George Washington was alive Look. while he was president, but they could not <laughs> settle on a design. And also, George Washington himself kept diverting funding away from the project. He felt the money had to go somewhere more important. As a result, they did not actually start work on the Washington Lawn Basin area, which is what we're coming up to right now. Although on our way to the Tidal Basin, I do of course have to point out this building over on the left-hand side of us. This is probably the most important building you're no. going to see today. This is the Federal Bureau of Engraving and Printing, <laughs> about half of all American dollars. And what we're about to merge onto the old in a few seconds Washington. is part of an artificial causeway filled in land that was put into the river to create a barrier wrapping around one part of the coast, part of why they built it while it was present. But also, uh, it's why they put it where they put it. You see, the Jefferson Memorial lines up on the direct north-south axis with the White House. It is directly south of the White House. So if you stand on the opposite side of the memorial... This used to be the shoreline, huh? From here, of course, you can see many of the most famous buildings in the city count them all at once. Jefferson's memorial over to the right hand side.
side of our gaze there. MLK. Injustice ever is a threat to justice everywhere. Hi. I don't think the tree fell there. Oh, just the tree branch. Yeah. Oh, cool. Daddy, this is him. Did you see him? Yeah. Come here, Christopher. World War II Memorial. It sits on the eastern end of the reflecting pool. You can see the Lincoln Memorial over there as it's coming up on the western end of the pool. Each of the stone pillars with the metal root uh, reeds wrapping around the outside edge of the World War II Memorial. Each one represents a state or a territory or a colony that was part of the United States during World War II. For example, uh, Alaska and Hawaii are depicted here of Washington, D.C. The Potomac River used to come up from the left of us to right about where the road is today. No At the intersection ahead of us, the coast took a sharp shift to the left. So you can imagine back in the day from this corner to the left. Little snack. Look how young they are. Yeah, go. Follow mommy. Go inside. Right there.
the exhibit downstairs. Come on, you guys. We're going downstairs. Blow down. Yeah. Century mommy. chamber puzzle level. Is mommy doing it? Yes. Yeah. We're at the bottom. Look, we're down here now. Daddy, out. Yeah, we're out. Come on, this way, you guys. Who founded the American Red Cross after the Civil War and who, after the Civil War, sort of became for most of the rest of her life the person in charge of managing a U.S. health. Washington's army for us. And so he did. He came to the United States. He joined Washington's army as an advisor and he wrote the manual for the Continental Army all by himself. He didn't speak English at the time, so he wrote it in French and then some of the founding fathers translated it into English from French. And that. Meanwhile, here in the middle of the park right next to us, is someone who's actually not a foreign general who helped us in the revolution. This is former President Andrew Jackson. If you've ever been to the city of New Orleans, you'll recognize the statue because literally the same one is in New Orleans, made from the same mold by the same sculptor. This one was done first.